Hey friends, how's it going? So today I am reviewing the Truly Victorian TV 261R 1885 for war underskirt. And the, the packaging looks like this. I've made the skirt a couple times and I really, really like this pattern. It's really well, especially if you have quite a fluffy bustle under here. It uh, makes a very good skirt for a bustle dress, especially a later bustle dress. It does require that you have a bustle under here, so you can't really use the skirt for, well, I mean, you can, you just have to hem it differently. For like different periods or whatever, you'd have to adjust the pattern. It's a really easy skirt pattern to follow. I really enjoyed the instructions. There were a couple of things that um, I think uh, it could have done better with, which I'll go over now. The first thing is it's missing pockets. Everybody had pockets. <laughs> Skirts always have pockets. I have a pocket pattern that I just use for everything. You can make yourself one. It's this shape and you can make this bigger, longer if you want to. Um, and I French seamed this, so I French seamed in my pockets too. That's the easiest way to do it. You can do it period and cut in a like placket for it so that it's uh, definitely, you can't see the, the inside fabric of the pocket, but I just use the skirt fabric for the pocket. It's a lazy man's way out. These are the instructions. Honestly, like it's two pages. It's super simple. It's not that many pattern pieces. It does have an optional ruffle and it does have an optional like extreme poof bustle, like you could poof this up and basically not put an overskirt over it. So you can use this for either thing if you want an overskirt or not. <coughs> and the pattern pieces do get cut out differently depending on which way you do that. And I have cut both of these patterns and they both work really well. The other thing that I feel like it's missing is sort of instructions on this waistband. It just says, um, start at the left side placket, opening work towards the right seam, gather or pleat the back. So it's just this section to fit whatever's left back here. And that's a little vague. <laughs> you can do it any way you want to, basically, is what it's saying. Um, but it's missing a couple things. Um, one, you really want to get this flat before you sew the um, waistband on there, otherwise it looks like a mess. And I have a picture of that, which I will show now, of what mine looked like before I fixed this. So I picked it out and fixed it. So it's just sort of, um, like implying that you have to have that knowledge ahead of time to go ahead and do that. So while I would say this is actually a really good pattern for beginners, for especially for a truly Victorian pattern, most of them are pretty easy, but you do have to have some sewing knowledge. This one's actually pretty good for beginners, except that that one waistband part is something else you'd want to discuss. I also wanted to cover the fact that it doesn't discuss how far you put the skirt into the waistband. It just says pleated in there. So this is what the waistband looks like. It's basically looks like double fold bias tape effectively. This is a, a inch and a quarter. So depending on if you stick that, the skirt in here, a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, or the full length all the way up, it actually shortens your skirt like up to a whole inch more. So I made my skirt and it's slightly too short now, whereas it was fine before I put the waistband on so I should have actually thought about that ahead of time and gone ahead and put it closer to the edge and just stitched it around the edge there that's a, a little more of a fiddly task because you got to make sure it's sort of even all the way in there um, I put mine to about this level so I'm gonna fix it by putting trim at the bottom for sure but that's something that happens so you have to think about these things and none of that's covered in the instructions so I thought I would mention it here in case any of you are deciding to use this pattern and the last criticism I guess I would have about this pattern in general is that um, they don't talk about seam finishing at all. That is a case with Truly Victorian entirely. Weirdly, I don't think most patterns talk about seam finishing. You're just expected to know. And especially if you're new to this and you're getting into sewing for the first time and you're learning about costuming and you want to do something simple like make one of these, which is... Like, if you're going to start costuming, this is probably one of the easier things to do and it's very impressive once it's done because you put it over a bustle, which is also easy to make would be a good way to start basically, but people don't know about seam finishing, so they don't discuss that. So what I do is every time I cut out a truly Victorian pattern, I just zigzag all the edges of all my pattern pieces like straight out the gate so that they're all essentially finished before I even start. Um, and that has seemed to work for me throughout the history of me using truly Victorian patterns. So that's very useful. It does also have waist tapes, or sorry, not waist tapes, uh, tapes that are inside of the bustle that help keep the poofy part back on where it's supposed to go back here. So that's very useful. And the other thing that was kind of weird is the, the side closure ends up being a little wonky and I'll put a picture of that in there, but it doesn't really matter. No one's going to see that. It's going to be an under, under and 
over skirt, <laughs> which will lay nicely on top of this anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, it was a very easy pattern to do. It only has one, two, three pattern pieces plus the waistband, and then one of them is doubled up, so four total things seems you have to sew, so it's very simple very easy definitely would recommend this pattern I use it over and over again I learn something new every time I use it though so it is a learning pattern at the same time anyway I would give it you know four and a half out of five stars definitely like this pattern I love truly Victorian their stuff fits exactly how they tell you it's gonna fit to measure I've never really had to adjust truly Victorian pattern minus a little bit of shoulder work but that's because my shoulders are weird I thought you guys would enjoy this review if you did give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time Definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye!